Hi, Zachary Burns here, and I'm an amateur radio operator. My call sign is N8ZAK. That's November 8 Zulu Alpha Kilo. And today I'm going to show you how to use some of the tools on the internet to actually um, help uh, with your ham radio experience. Uh, typically, back in the uh, uh, before the internet days, uh, in fact, a lot of the technology that has been uh, uh, making up the internet, such as Ethernet, um, you know, packet, TCP IP uh, protocols and that type of thing actually arose uh, out of early um, amateur radio work, whether it was Aloha Net or some of the DARPA um, uh, research that was done by the military uh, that sort of makes up today's internet. Uh, all started back with uh, amateur radio and uh, the true wireless communications of the day. So um, let's get started here. I'm using FL Digi and I'm doing some digital mode work and right now I'm on PSK 31 and with sunspots coming back um, I'm gonna jump over to 10 meters which is what I'm at here and um, I've actually got it hooked up to my IC 7000 and um, with 10 meters with sunspots coming back uh, every well every 11 years you get a, a solar cycle and um, you get some really good DX communication and that type of thing and there's just so much bandwidth available on 10 meters you go all the way from 28 to 29 7 the issue is um, at least uh, for me um, having to go through and and here we've only got about three um, three thousand Hertz on the uh, waterfall here and uh, the digital modes are from uh, 28 up to uh, 28 300 and I don't really want to go through and spin the dial or you know go through here and click through the frequencies and attempt to find some PSK traffic uh, what I use is a website called PSK reporter and this will do things like um, uh, sort of show the actual um, signals and frequencies that are in use throughout the world and so it's uh, daytime here as you can see right here and uh, you can actually uh, this is at pskreporter.info and uh, you can actually just go here and zoom in on the map and see what type of activity is going on and you can zoom into your location and see the different kind of stations that are either automatically reporting this information or are actually um, transmitting so like you could type in N8ZAK and uh, hit go and it'll actually search through all the frequencies and all the modes hang on let me turn this down it's a local police channel for my uh, city so um, so this I uh, punched my uh, call sign here and told it to search all modes and that's you know anything from JT65, Moon Bounce, whatever, uh, PSK, Olivia, um, going all the way down to um, some of these other uh, modes like MT63, FM, whatever. You can actually self-report but um, it's not totally accurate. You'll get some guys that are kind of uh, that will actually um, sort of fudge some data but um, uh, so actually I punched in my uh, call sign and uh, chose over the last 12 hours uh, any other stations that heard me uh, I was actually doing some PSK uh, 31 this morning so um, it shows it last heard me uh, two hours ago and you can actually click the show logbook and show some of the last stations that are available and and some really neat things like that so this is one of the tools you can use um, some contesters use this I kind of it's I don't know I guess I wouldn't call it cheating but really the kind of benefit and, and the joy of, of ham radio for me is you never know what you're gonna get um, it's kind of like picking up the phone if you know who you want to call and dial up the number that's fine but if you kind of want that random contact or that uh, you never know who you're gonna reach when you call a CQ and and you know it might be uh, one state over it might be around the world um, so that's the kind of fun for it for uh, for me is you just never know who you're gonna get um, so contesting I don't use this I don't advocate using it I kinda consider it cheating um, so 
uh, some people will actually take their beam and point it toward you know South Dakota if they need that for a for a um, I mean if it's a worked all states or something like that award I guess that's that's acceptable but if it's during a contest and you're trying to chase down um, chase down DX or chase down different countries or whatever um, it can get a little I don't know a little hairy as to as to some of the rules in fact a lot of the a lot of the rules uh, don't advocate using it at all so that's pskreporter.info uh, there is another site um, called uh, PropNet and these are automated um, sort of real-time plots as to the uh, uh, there's actually listening stations out there that will do the same thing kind of listen to the different stations and the li different traffic and plot where some large um, maybe it's band openings or um, or uh, the different stations are so you could actually come in here and you can search for your call sign too if you want or search for another call sign you're looking for and uh, this uh, some of this data is um, it actually doesn't show me but uh, we can we can clear this out and uh, we'll just show all the traffic again but uh, this shows there was activity on 10 meters from one station to another you can actually click on there to bring up their QRZ uh, information um, but this kind of shows you know some of the traffic patterns and stuff so that's kind of neat and uh, you know here's some stuff overseas and and here's there's that uh, Australia station um, probably that was coming in uh, to my area this morning oh that was a different one but Australia was actually coming in pretty good this morning on PSK so that's a uh, that's another one PropNet uh, this is usually stations or uh, it's either self-reporting or it's catches uh, by uh, reporting or monitoring stations and some of this stuff is automated another one to check out too if you're if you're big into local uh, VHF uh, or UHF traffic is um, uh, well if you go to my website and click on tools for hams and go down here to propagation uh, there's actually a link from the uh, Mount Lake Mountain Lake K through 12 school district of Minnesota what they actually do is they actually take APRS data um, the packet data you'll usually hear on uh, uh, 144.390 and they'll actually plot it on a uh, uh, sort of plotted on a, uh, a map here and in the summertime this is cool uh, looks like there's some band openings so technically if you're in the right spot you could talk to uh, you know just over your two meter frequencies from Columbus to Cleveland without much power at all and uh, you know here's uh, you know if you're in the uh, uh, western part of Arkansas you can probably get up into Kansas too the, the uh, darker the uh, bubbles are uh, in the summertime you'll see these turn red um, and, and there'll be huge swaths of uh, of propagation patterns usually due to um, high pressure and uh, high pressure systems creating uh, ducting uh, tropospheric ducting is what they call it in the summertime and uh, I've actually heard stations from Wisconsin hit a uh, hit a repeater out in uh, Fulton County so you know they're just tuning up their regular frequency in Wisconsin that might control their regular repeater or it might be a simplex you know 14652 contact or something you'll actually hear it beam right in clear as day just going over that ducting and right into the Ohio area uh, sometimes these cover from Florida all the way up to Ohio or Texas to Ohio or or somewhere out west so it's pretty interesting to uh, to see that um, that tropospheric ducting work and that's kind of the uh, the fun of it. So uh, you can check that out at the uh, at the uh, Mountain Lake K through 12 school district. You can search for that on Google or just uh, pull it right here from uh, the embedded map on my page. So those are just a couple helpful uh, websites to check out uh, for ham radio um, uh, communication. So and actually uh, one last tool to check out. Uh, you can actually search for it using uh, Microsoft's widgets. So if you're a Windows 7 or a Windows Vista user, um, you can actually right click on your desktop and choose gadgets. And there's different gadgets. I've actually added a couple and you can get more gadgets online by clicking this get more gadgets online. One that I like to have loaded is the, um, is it's called the ham radio gadget, but it essentially shows, um, it shows sort of the uh, sunspots, um, you know, the current solar image, uh, current band conditions for VHF and HF and their uh, day and nighttime uh, patterns right now so 
it'll tell you um, you know the different uh, solar fluxes x-ray uh, patterns um, you know aurora status uh, that type of thing so uh, it's kind of a neat tool uh, it actually even has a, a nice quick link to uh, search QRZ too so usually if you leave this up and running and just type in your call sign whatever you're searching for hit that and uh, pops right up and uh, shows whatever station so that's a quick and neat gadget to to use um, there's also a couple other pieces of software too uh, and this might help you know if you want to know where the uh, Sun is and the uh, what we call the gray line right here again my name is Zachary Burns November 8th Zulu Alpha Kilo and I'm saying 7 3